All right, so the Guardian Designs wheel has arrived. It looks amazing. So I kind of teased a little bit that I was getting this. I mentioned that I kind of Photoshopped the look together that I was going for. Whoop, little teaser. I kind of Photoshopped this look together. And originally I was gonna go with straight red sides. It's more of a, um, it's more popular, but I wanted something a little more subtle, but should still pop compared to the factory wheel. So let's take a look at this wheel and then we'll go over all of the specs. Oof. Take a look at that. It's just drop dead gorgeous. So I'm gonna try and make the colors look as close as possible to what I'm seeing in real life with my eyes. Because while recording with the camera, it may start showing up a little orange depending on the lighting situation. But let's go over the specs of this wheel first. I know some folks were kind of interested in this and kind of go over it because Guardian Designs has a ton of features and options. I'm working in a smaller environment here, so we really can't see the full wheel. Maybe I'll put some photos on screen as well. So the wheel itself is a Corsa D. The D stands for the flat bottom here. It's not the smaller one and well, it is smaller than the factory. I'll say that much. That's one of the reasons why I went with this and not some other competitor wheels because I actually got one before that I returned. It's a flat bottom. They use a factory steering wheel from the 124 Spider, you know, the Mazda and the Miata, same thing. And they actually work off of that and they shrink it just a hair. They have an even smaller one. I don't know if that comes with the flat D, but they have a smaller one. This one is already just a hair smaller, which I really like. And it offers the flat bottom D. And I opted for the GT thickness, which is the thicker wheel. It's thicker around the edges everywhere. I'm gonna go over that in a little bit as far as my opinion on that. Now, as far as the other options, because like I said, they have a ton. This is where I got something that I haven't seen done too often. This they call a Napa Asento. It's basically a black Napa leather with a red accent color underneath. This is where instead of going with the full red leather sides, I want something a little more subtle, but I think it just looks gorgeous. We have black Alcantara on the top, black Alcantara on the bottom, super soft by the way. And we have a red marker here, which I'm not gonna lie, I did actually order this with red leather and they sent it in a red Alcantara. But I ain't even mad because it looks freaking phenomenal. It looks fine. A little something that, you know, I did, I remember picking the red leather. I thought, let me keep the red leather kind of match with this and just contrast it a bit. But honestly, it looks gorgeous. I'm totally fine that they put Red Alcantara there. As far as the stitching goes, this is what they call the motorsports stitching because they do have a lot of different styles and designs when it comes to stitching, when it comes to everything, basically. So this style is uh, motorsports. And the color for everything here, as far as the red, they call it Ferrari Rosso, Ferrari Red. This is the Ferrari red, the stitching is Ferrari red, and the accent here is Ferrari red. I'm not sure if the colors are coming out great in this video. Like I said, I'm gonna try and edit them out properly. But basically the Ferrari red, I was a little iffy on it. Some folks said it's too bright, it kind of looks orange, but in person, it looks perfect. Now with the Ascento option over here, you only have the red, the Ferrari red option for that. They have a lot of other red colors that you could use here, stitching, full leather, but I wanted to keep everything consistent, so that's why I went with the Ferrari red on all three parts. And I'm happy with it, because it looks really, really good. Something else I did was I opted for the black trim pieces over here. Now, can you get a bottle of, uh, you know, battle can spray paint and paint these yourself? Yes, of course you can. 
I've done that with some older cars and emblems and different things like that. But I kind of wanted this uh, like a done for you look. So I was okay spending that money and opting to have them pre-installed, which is a nice touch as well. I like this a lot better than the silver that comes with the wheel from the factory. They have a gloss black or a, what is it? A, um, a satin black as they call it. So this is their satin black, which I think is going to look perfect in the car, which right now just has a lot of red and black already. It's gonna help cut down on the glare from having gloss black because there isn't really too, too much gloss black in the car. I think the satin black looks really good on this. And one more huge thing that I did, because like I said, I kind of custom put this wheel together in Photoshop. I took bits and pieces from different steering wheels that I saw that they created. Maybe I'll even put it on the screen, the Photoshop that I did. And you'll see this came out almost just as good. It came out better, you know, like it's freaking awesome. But basically, when it comes to the Miata style wheels, the Fiat wheels, the 124 Spider, usually they have a horizontal cut right here that will separate your side options from your top options. But I saw a Jaguar wheel that Guardian Designs did that had these high vertical cuts instead of having the cut. Usually it's like right around here in horizontal and then it would just be Alcantara. So the cut will be here and then the rest will be Alcantara up there. I saw this high vertical cut instead and I fell in love with that. And that was another option that I did. Since the side, like I said, it's more subtle. It's not that bright red. I figured let's bring it up a little bit more. And honestly, I just love the look of it. And I'm super happy that I got it because it just looks phenomenal. I like that extra high horizontal cut. Like I said, Guardian Designs has a ton of options. You can pick so many different options from wheel, color, material. It's just... It took me a while, put it that way. It took me a long time to put this order through because I just couldn't decide. And at the end of the day, it's all personal preference, you know? Whatever you like, you could put together. They could probably make it for you. It's all personal preference. What I got is what I love, what I fell in love with, what I like. You know, you guys let me know what you think about it. I think it looks gorgeous. Now going back to the thicker wheel option. Now I don't have the biggest hands are actually i think on the smaller side my hands are kind of small definitely thinner you know they're not super small but i was a little worried about going with a thicker option and i could say confidently if you're thinking about going with the thicker option but you were afraid it might be too thick don't be it feels great the thumb rests over here they're definitely really large but other than that the wheel itself is not like extremely extremely thick in different areas it actually feels really really good so i'm happy i went with this thicker option i think they call it the gt forget the exact millimeters maybe i'll put it on screen but it is thicker than their normal option and don't hold me to this but i believe it might have been someone at Guardian designs actually i forget but i believe someone mentioned to me that the 124 spider wheels are actually slightly thinner from the factory than the miata style wheels now it's the same wheel so to say but the style material the way things are designed are a little bit different and i think it's a little bit thinner if anyone knows by all means you can comment below but i think it was a little thinner so by going to the thicker option it's not really as noticeable as a difference compared to a normal wheel so to say so now why did i go with an upgraded steering wheel because they're not the cheapest things out there but honestly, I've said it before, I was never a huge fan of the factory 124 Spider Abarth steering wheel. I felt like it's just super generic, small, round, no sport design or feel to it. I feel like the car itself, the 124 Spider, especially the Abarth, just has a ton of character and style. And I felt like the steering wheel was just lacking in that department. So that's where a custom steering wheel comes into play for two reasons. One, the style, the overall style of it, and two, the driving experience. Because having a small diameter, thicker, more sportier feeling wheel is going to amplify that driving experience. I actually have a video going over interior car mod upgrades that I kind of put together and talk about it, specifically covering like steering wheel, shift knobs, stuff like that. I'll have the link up here. I also have a link below if you want to watch that as well. So I actually just picked up a 135i a few days ago and this wheel came in a day after. I was not expecting it to come in because the update on the tracking, this comes from Poland, actually that morning said it was still you know, in Poland, but I guess it did an update and it came in. So let's just talk about shipping time. So I was told it was gonna take about two to three weeks 
and it did take a little over a month. 100% worth it though, because the damn thing looks amazing. And I did opt for these black pieces like midway through the process, so that could have added a little bit of time to it. Just keep in mind, this wheel is custom, handmade in Poland. They make it exactly to your specs, so it does take time to make. Probably gonna take, give or take, about a month for it to arrive, depending on you know their current situation and order volume. So let me know what you guys think. I think personally this is a nice blend of style without being too, you know, in your face with the red sides, which it's not a bad thing because I was originally gonna go for something like that. I just think this is a little more subtle and the car already has some minor red accents in the car. For example, I have the Redline Goods shift boots, e-brake boot, which I'll actually have a link below to a 20% off coupon code with them. I have a racing shift knob, which has a little touch of red in there. The tack is red in the 124 of Barth. There's a little bit of red interior stitching in the car. So I think this is gonna blend perfectly in the car, kind of giving it a OEM plus type of look. So I think that's gonna cover everything. Be sure to subscribe if you wanna see more of the wheel in action, more car videos. Visit drivendistrict.com if you wanna pick up some merch. Oh, and some car parts pretty soon. I'm actually partnering up with some car performance companies. I'm becoming a dealer for some of them. So pretty soon I'm gonna have a huge refresh and update on the website. It's gonna go live with all those parts. So keep an eye for that. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll catch you guys in the next video.